Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Android is an operating system that has been extremely well endowed. It's got the good fortune of some fantastic hardware in the Nexus One, the Droid, and the various Hero devices. It's an operating system that's extremely scalable, offers a lot of customization, and for many people has really been the perfect fit of form and function. However, Android has been lacking one big feature that I've been mentioning for uh, well, since it first came out, a lack of native multi-touch support. There have been other Android devices like the Hero that have added it, but out of the box, Android did not support multi-touch. Well, those days are long gone, and let me show you what multi-touch natively looks like on Android, in particular, the Nexus One. So let's start where we probably use it the most, the browser. Go ahead and open that up. So we're on Techno Buffalo, we'll take two fingers and do the, of course, pinch and zoom. And on hardware like the Nexus One, where you're running the Snapdragon Gigahertz processor, it is incredibly fast. I mean, it zooms in and zooms out as quickly as your fingers go. There's no delay and no lag. It looks like it's been there since day one, implemented really nicely. Uh, you still do get the plus and minus magnification bars down there uh, if you want to use them, but multi-touch just works so well. And of course, rotate the landscape. It'll work um, just as well for you, assuming it'll rotate. It'll work for you exactly the same way. So that's one way that multi-touch has been implemented. And of course, you still get the same options to double tap and things like that. Let's get out of this and let me show you the other way where it's been implemented, Google Maps. Go ahead and open up the Maps application here, push this off to the side. Pinch and zoom is in full effect. Go ahead and right side that up. And again, it works just as well as it does on any other multi-touch device. It's quick, it's fast, and adds a really nice well, feature add, I'd say, to Android. But that's not it. That's not the only place where you get that. Let's take a look at the gallery. Here's a picture I took of just my keyboard as a test. And zoom in, zoom out, really makes for a, a very nice picture viewing experience, especially on a screen here like the Nexus One. Uh, that's just so big. It really can uh, almost be too big for a picture. You can see it almost extends outside there. Um, anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration of multi-touch on the Android device in particular here, the Nexus One. It works, and in, in my review of the Nexus One, I gave it a 4.75. I sort of lost that quarter of a point because it didn't have multi-touch. But when revising my review and giving it a complete five, I could see myself using the Nexus One every day and being thrilled with it. It's a great device. Android is really coming to its own and now offers a, a fantastic, extremely competitive uh, feature set with any mobile phone out there. Anyway guys, John Rettinger, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.